House lawmakers grilled the director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement today, saying her agency had released more than 30,000 immigrants with criminal records last year. Cronkite News reporter Liliana Salgado was at the Capitol today. Liliana? In a testy two-hour hearing today, the Judiciary Committee pressed on ICE Director Sara Saldana on two counts, demanding to know why officers are prioritizing some arrests and why thousands with criminal convictions had been released. The agency released thousands of criminal aliens convicted of offenses involving dangerous drugs, assault, and domestic violence. But she let them know they are catching more than they are letting go. More than 102,000 were apprehended in the interior of the United States, and perhaps more importantly, 85 percent of those were immigrants previously convicted of a criminal offense. An answer that didn't sit well with Republicans on the committee. It bothers me tremendously when, as the director of ICE, you come in here and tell us one of your number one priorities you basically don't have a clue whether you can do it, you are doing it, or how many you're releasing. But Arizona Congressman Trent Franks pinned the blame back to the White House, saying that the president... To put you in a very difficult position, and I, and I say that sincerely. On that note, most of the hearing focused on a card that ICE officers carry with them that details Obama's immigration priorities. It basically can... Give an officer flexibility in making a decision whether someone fits within the priorities and, sh and should not be removed. Saldana said the card is part of the substantial training that ICE officers have received as they implement President Obama's order to focus on immigrants who pose the greatest threat to the United States. Live in Washington, D.C., Liliana Salgado, Cronkite News.